Hello, this is Jane Tolbert and it is day five of my Space Odyssey and today I'm exploring the notion of space-time. The phrase space-time was first coined in 1908 by a guy called Hermann Minkowski and he coined this phrase in response to Einstein's theory of special relativity. So, what is space-time? You're going to love this. It is space plus time. Space is three-dimensional. That means it needs three axes to explain it. We are three-dimensional. We have height or a vertical axis, we have width or a horizontal axis, and we have depth. Time, on the other hand, is one-dimensional. That is, it only needs one axis to explain it. It is a straight line. So, you've probably worked out that 3 plus 1 is 4. We live in a four-dimensional universe. Time is a measurement of change in space. So, as soon as I start to do this, you need a way of tracking those changes, you need time. So time is the vehicle which allows space to move. So imagine a champagne cork and it's sitting by the edge of a river. A champagne cork would represent space, it is three-dimensional, and the river represents time. If the champagne cork sits at the side of the river, it is going nowhere. The minute you place the champagne cork into the river, into the water, it starts to move. Time is the vehicle through which space, the cork, can move. Now yesterday, one of the things I learnt was, is that matter or things with mass can affect the shape, the geometry of space-time. Matter can cause warps or bends or curves in space-time. And this is where the notion of space and time being interconnected becomes quite interesting. So if you were to synchronise two watches on Earth, and we know that Earth has a gravitational field, it has mass, and so it's bending space-time around it. So if you were to leave one of those watches on Earth and to jettison another out into space, where the space-time geometry was different, maybe with not so much curvature, guess what would happen? Have you guessed? That's right, sooner or later, those two watches would fall out of synchronisation. So, have any new lines of inquiry opened up? I'm afraid my head is hurting at the thought of this new line, which is Einstein's theory of special relativity. And even just thinking about special relativity, what comes to mind is a big black hole with me heading very quickly towards a singularity, preparing myself for spaghettification with no sign of a wormhole and no exotic matter, that's for sure. So I might swerve on that because I still have two unanswered lines of inquiry from a couple of days ago. So I think what I'm probably going to do tomorrow is exotic matter. What I'm doing is riding the impulse. Whatever comes up, whatever hooks me into Jane, go there. That's where I'm going. I'll see you tomorrow.